Hi, I'm Taz Monopoly, cosmetic chemist and trainer here at the Institute of Personal Care Science. And today I'm gonna to show you how easy it is to make a mandelic acid deodorant, which is perfect for brightening those dark underarms. Now let me show you how to put it together. Okay, so firstly I have my water face here. So we are gonna be making a roll-on deodorant here. So it's going to go in this type of packaging here with the little ball and it's applied to the underarms. So first I got my water, to this I'm gonna add a little bit of glycerin. You can of course pick another humectant of your choice. Propane dial might be a good choice as well if you don't want any stickiness or tackiness. If you do pick glycerin, limit it to about 5% in a leave-on product as it will feel uh, sticky and tacky. I'm just gonna give that a little bit of a stir. Now humectant is really good to use in these types of products because your underarms can get uh, quite dry and itchy and irritated at times. So that's gonna help with conditioning them, keep you know trapping that water and moisture in your underarms as well so they don't dry out and go all itchy and irritated. Now, now you do wanna use a really good stabilizing agent here. So one of my favorites is the Sepimaxen. So this is really good stabilizing in extreme conditions. So with a lot of AHAs or BHAs, they do require a lower pH. So this is really good to use for that. And we also have you know, some particles to suspend and stabilize over here as well. So you need to use something that's really good at stabilizing in extreme conditions. Now, Sepimax N will not hydrate straight away. Sometimes it does take overnight. So what you want to do is just using low shear, we're gonna wet the polymer and we're gonna cover it and leave it and then come back and occasionally stir it until it's all homogenous and a nice beautiful gel has formed. Okay, and here is what my gel is looking like after the Sepimax N has fully hydrated. As you can see, it's nice and viscous. It does look quite thick now, but that's because we've had to use a relatively high input to stabilize the mandelic acid to keep it nice and stable. So the viscosity will drop a little bit, um, but we do want it to be really nice and stable here. So we're just gonna pop that one on heat. Okay, and while that's heating, I'm gonna to put together my oil face. So I've got some Olive M1000 in here. This is a non-ionic emulsifier um, and it's also waxy. So it's gonna build stability and viscosity in our uh, deodorant. To this, I'm gonna be using a light filling ester here. So this is uh, Dermafil Sensolv. This is a really good silicon alternative, but it's uh, naturally dry. So it's a good natural alternative to silicons. So this is light and it's also long spreading. So you don't want anything too heavy or greasy under your underarms. And you do have to remember too, you don't want it to stay wet all day because uh, that's a bit unpleasant. Now you can of course use a bit of ethanol in your deodorant if you want it to be fast drying, but ethanol can dry out the skin. So you do need to be careful of that. We're not adding any ethanol in our deodorant today. And we're just gonna be adding just a small import of a plant oil for marketing, just a tiny bit of richness to our deodorant. So this is the Sat Satcha Inchi oil. And we're just gonna pop that one on heat as well. Now you do wanna make sure your uh, water phase is nice and hot before adding your oil phase because you don't want your waxes to stay solid otherwise you will get what we call uh, waxy water. So make sure it's hot enough before you combine. And you can see a nice beautiful white homogenous emulsion is starting to form. Now we're just gonna give that a bit of a stir to help it start cooling. Okay, so once this is cooled, we're gonna go ahead and add our other materials. So first thing I'm gonna go in here with my mandelic acid. So this is the Spec White DLMA by Spec Chem. So this is a mandelic acid, which is widely known for being a skin lightener or brightener or whitener, <laughs> whatever word you do want to use for it. 
So we're gonna pop that in there. Now you will need to check your country's uh, regulations to ensure that there's no limits on the mandelic acid input. Uh, so whatever country you're making, selling or exporting into, you will need to check your country's regulations. You can learn all about cosmetic compliance and regulations with our diploma in personal care formulation or our certificate in regulatory essentials. Now I'm gonna go in here with one of my favorite natural fragrances. This is the Green Tea and Cucumber by Keith Harris. It's always nice to have a nice, beautiful scent in a deodorant. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of tocopherol. Um, a little bit of a glycerin base extract. I've just chosen aloe vera because that's really good at moisturizing and soothing and stuff like that. And just my preservative. And just give that a good stir. Okay, and lastly, you do want to check your final pH. And that's sitting nice and low. You do want the pH to be low for these types of acids because it means they're more bioavailable, so they're going to be more effective. And then lastly, we're just going to cover and leave and come assess our deodorant the next day. Okay, so this is what our deodorant is looking like the next day. I've already gone ahead and poured it into a deodorant uh, container with the ball, the roll-on deodorant. And I'm just going to put some on my hand. So you do want it to be um, not too thick because it does still need to be dispense out the roll-on uh, packaging. So you don't want it to be too thick. You want it to be sort of like a lotion consistency. It's non-tacky either, so that's not gonna be annoying under your arms. And it has dried pretty quickly as well, which is also another must for a roll-on deodorant. You don't want it to feel wet and sticky all day. And this is what it's just looking like in the bowl. It's got beautiful flow there. It's still gonna be easily dispensed out the roll-on packaging. It's beautiful, glossy, it's really nice and stable as well. You will know if you haven't stabilized your deodorant properly because you will see separation, color changes, um, your mandelic acid might start to crystallize as well if you haven't added that in properly. Sometimes you do need to add mandelic acid. Um, you need to solubilize it first in um, different materials, but this has gone straight into our emulsion quite well. But it'll be very obvious if it becomes unstable. As always, let it sit and look for any signs of, uh, of instability. But this is looking gorgeous, glossy, and perfect viscosity. Well, there you go. That's how super easy it is to make a mandelic acid deodorant. That's perfect for brightening those dark underarms. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave any questions in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to receive notification on the rest of our videos. Happy formulating.